So I'm gonna show you the easiest way to go ahead and set up your YouTube alerts inside of OBS Studio. So the first website we're gonna to come to is gonna be streamelements.com. And everything that I mentioned will be in the description of this video. So once you're here, you're gonna select login and we're gonna make sure you get logged in with your YouTube account. Once you get logged in with a YouTube account, you're gonna be brought to a dashboard just like this. We're gonna to come to the left-hand side where it says streaming tools. We'll select overlays and then you'll be brought here and then we'll select new overlay. So once you go ahead and done that overlay resolution, we're going to leave it at 1080p hit start on the left hand side, select add widget alerts, alert box. And then here on the left hand side, you're going to see subscriber alert, member alert, super chat alert. We're going to disable tip alert and we're going to disable purchase alert. Now, if we were to come here to the bottom and select emulate for subscriber event, you'll see here that pretty much you have a basic alert. What we're going to do here today is create more of a custom one so it matches our style of streaming. So what you're going to do here is on the left hand side, you're going to select subscriber alert. You're going to select this little gear. And it's going to ask you to go ahead and change the actual video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to streamdesigns.com and I'll put a link in the description of this video. And there's tons of alerts you can go ahead and select from. Now for this example, I'm going to utilize the loadout alert. And you're going to see here that that's going to go ahead and come with all the alerts that we actually need our new subscriber, our super chat, our gifted membership, our new member, and a few others as well. And then a blank one if we wanna create a custom one. Now, the beautiful thing is that every single alert that is on Stream Designs comes with a matching package as well. So you can see here, this is the matching package here for loadout. And this is gonna go ahead and bring all of your overlays and graphics that you would need to be able to make your stream look professional. And again, I'll put a link in the description of this video. So once you go ahead and got your overlays from Stream Designs, you're gonna come here to the left hand side and you're gonna select change video. You're then gonna go ahead and select file. We're gonna go ahead and come to our desktop where we went ahead and download that. Now, when you get the file from Stream Designs, it's gonna come in a zip file just like this. You cannot upload the zip file. So if you're on Windows, you need to go ahead and right click on this file and select extract. And that's gonna go ahead and create a folder for you. If you're on Mac, you'll double click that and that will create the folder for you. So once you have that folder, it's gonna be here for my alerts. We're gonna go ahead and select new subscriber. We're gonna select open, and then you're gonna see that it's gonna pop up here and directly inside of stream elements. We'll select submit, and now we'll he we have the animation there. So if I were to go ahead and hit subscriber event, you'll see here that now the animation is happening, but our text is not aligned. So there are some customizations that we want to go ahead and make here. So the first thing we wanna do is for the volume, you can leave it at 50. For the sound effect, I like to go ahead and bring this down to about 30 is where I have like the sweet spot. Now you can use the generic sound that it comes with, but I like to go ahead and use the custom sound because if I want to utilize the sound across on different social medias, or I repurpose this content. I don't want to have any kind of copyright claims or any kind of strikes. So what I like to utilize is epidemic sound. And the reason why I utilize them is because my content is going to be safe regardless of where I utilize it. I use this for background music. I use it for music on my videos, for any content I make on social media. And I plug in my YouTube channel, my TikTok, my Twitch, my Facebook, my Kick, my website, my Instagram. And that means that anytime I play any sound effects or music from Epidemic Sound, I will be protected. And I'll put a link in the description of this video if you wanna use Epidemic Sound for your music and sound effects. So I'm gonna come here and type in shots simply because this is a Call of Duty inspired kind of alert. Uh, you can go ahead and play any of the sound effects that you want and you'll be able to download them. So I'm going to go ahead and utilize Woosh. I'm going to come here. I'm going to hit download. I'm going to select MP3, download that as well. And then what we'll do is that we'll come back here to stream elements. I'm going to clear sound and then we'll upload a sound, select file. And then I'm going to come to where I downloaded that and I'm going to go ahead and upload it. Once it's selected there, I'm going to hit submit. And now we have that selected there. So now if I were to go ahead and emulate this, we would hear the sound as well. Okay. So what we want to do now is we want to make sure that our text is aligned where exactly where we need it to be. So to be able to do that, we're going to come down and we're going to select layout. You're going to make sure it's stuck on this third one. We're going to select this little checkbox here. And then what I like to do is I like to just delete this ending part of it and just leave it as name subscribe alert duration. I think six seconds is the sweet spot. So now we'll come down here to where it says text settings. We'll come to advanced. And here, if you got your alert from stream designs, you're going to want to put a negative 125 there. And now you'll see here that if we emulate this, it's going to go ahead and be perfectly aligned where we want it to be. 
Now, the one thing is that the text comes up before the alert. So we want to go ahead and change that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color here because my alerts are red. So I want everything to be branded as possible. Once I have that color change there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to where it says text. I'm going to come, I'm going to come hit this little dot down. I'm going to come down here where it says animation settings. And now here where it says none text appearance delay, I'm going to put this at about 1.8. And again, you can customize this to your liking based on the alerts you're utilizing. But if I go ahead and do the animation now, we should be able to go ahead and see that it's red and then we'll be able to go ahead and have it subscribed just like that now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit save and I'm going to name this here YouTube alert, YouTube alert new. I'm going to hit save. And now that we have that saved, what you want to do is you want to come back and you want to go ahead and adjust all of the other ones as well. So we'll come here to our member alert. You'll change the video. We'll go ahead and upload here, select file. Once you've done that, you'll come back here to your animate alerts, and then you'll go ahead and select the new member one and then follow the same exact steps that we just went ahead and did. So once you've gone ahead and customize all of your alerts, your subscriber, your member, your super chat, you're going to come to the top right here. You're going to select this little copy overlay URL. We'll copy that. We'll come back here to OBS studio. And then I'm going to go ahead and set up my alerts here in my just chatting scene. So I'm going to select this here. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hit this little plus icon. You'll come to hit browser source. We'll name this new alerts, YouTube, press OK. And then here under URL, we're going to go ahead and paste that link that we just went ahead and copied. You'll press OK. And now we can go ahead and adjust this where we want. We can come right back, select emulate. And then we're going to see here in OBS studio that now our alert is going to go ahead and populate here for us just like that. Now, if you want to be able to go ahead and set up your overlays, like you're starting soon, your countdown inside of OBS studio, go ahead and watch this video right here where I walk you step by step on setting up all your overlays. So your stream looks professional. Click that video right there. I'll see you guys in the next video.